32 year old woman presents to a neurology clinic for follow up of her newly diagnosed seizure disorder she has been taking phenytoin for the last 6 months so underline the phenytoin over here because uh, this is very important drug which will cause uh, the folic acid deficiency the case what we are discussing right now which has been quite effective in controlling her seizure so always concentrate on the seizure medication that causes uh, the folic acid deficiency mainly the phenytoin so during the appointment she tells you that she has been feeling more tired than usual and that she has recently developed some watery diarrhea this is another important clue or buzzword in the case the important buzzword for the case is phenytoin use for the last 6 months which causes folic acid deficiency so on physical examination you notice that she is rather pale has a smooth red tongue and it is tachycardic when laboratory testing reveals a megaloblastic anemia you suspect that the phenytoin is responsible for the nutritional deficiency that is causing her symptoms and it is a folic acid deficiency remember the most common cause of the folic acid deficiency is inadequate dietary intake especially seen in alcoholics the most common cause of the folic acid deficiency is the inadequate dietary intake especially seen in alcoholics and also the medications that decreases the folic the folate absorption in the intestine you have to write down these medications what are the medications that uh, decreases folate absorption in the intestine example like sulfasalazin sulfasalazin phenytoin like uh, cortimoxazole that is the uh, trimethoprim plus sulfamethoxazole and the uh, methotrexate use also because the methotrexate is the one which inhibits uh, conversion of the folic acid to active form or any condition where the folic acid requirements are increased like in pregnancy or in the chronic hemolytic anemia all these are the causes for the folic acid deficiency so we know that the reduced form of the folic acid is called as tetrahydrofolate and this tetrahydrofolate acts as a cofactor for many one carbon transfer reactions mainly in the nucleotide synthesis especially in the conversion of dump to dtmp in the synthesis of thymidylate not only in the synthesis of thymidylate when there is a conversion of the dump to dtmp the folic acid is also important in the methionine synthesis especially where there is a conversion of homocysteine to methionine so these are the two important steps where we need folic acid and serine to glycine like that there are so many other reaction but the important one are like uh, synthesis of the thymidylate and the conversion of the homocysteine to methionine the clinical manifestations are glossitis and diarrhea and mainly the neural tube defects that can result from the maternal folate deficiency and the lab finding evident with uh, megaloblastic anemia with hypersegmented neutrophils on the peripheral blood smear and no neurological manifestations what we can see along with the megaloblastic picture when we compare with the vitamin b12 deficiency and this is a folic acid deficiency 